After an impressive six decades, Dame Judi Dench has continued to be a hit with audiences. To some, the award-winning actor is perhaps better known for her role as M in the Bond franchise, first appearing in GoldenEye before stepping down from the role in Skyfall, when her character was killed off. Regarded as one of the best actresses in British history, the dame found fame after her outstanding performance as Ophelia in the production of Hamlet. In an interview with Terry Wogan which dated back from 1988, the TV star spoke about her debut as a theatre director and addressed rumours which claimed she was a bossy person to work with. During a classic episode of the BBC's Talking Pictures, Judy told her host Terry, Kenneth Branagh says I'm bossy and school marmish when I do it, directing, she joked, but has drunk with power so he would say that but yes, I loved it. The Ophelia star directed the theatre production of Much Ado About Nothing, which had been adapted into a film by Kenneth in 1993. Terry wondered, do you like bossing people around? The dame responded, no, I didn't like it, no. I got quite cross when the, cast, did things that I said, please don't do this, and then they came on and did it. Coronation Street twist as Lydia Chambers' first victim unveiled? The BBC presenter asked, so, the headmistress bit I mean, are you conscious of it within yourself? Speaking about the cast, Judy quipped, it's not true they're just getting a cheap laugh. In jest, Terry chuckled, they're mad with Kenneth Branagh. While the Bond star added, yes, it's not true. We had a lot of laughs. I suppose I was quite bossy but I learned a lot from them and I loved working with them. She gushed, I'm so proud of them. They're 15 of the most talented young actors and actresses and everybody must go and see them at the Phoenix. What about you? Terry continued, we've seen so many tremendous parts, your role as Cleopatra was tremendously admired. A lot of what can only be described as unbridled passion on the stage, he asked, much bruising? Judy replied, yes, there was a lot of bruising, you heard about that? Yes, I nearly flew off into the audience a couple of times, I was just saved by the bell, she told BBC viewers. Later, Terry wondered, I'm just interested in how you would play, Cleopatra, would that be all meticulously rehearsed and blocked out and everything? The movie mogul revealed how she improvised with her co-star Anthony Hopkins to give the play a more realistic style. Judy explained, well, Tony and I found out that when we worked together, it was better, and we said to St. Peter Hall, it's better if you don't tell us what to do. Could we just have these moves very fluid? Then I don't know what Hess, Anthony, going to do and he doesn't know what I'm going to do. So sometimes Tony would come off and it'd be looking, in a certain direction, or vice versa. She told the BBC presenter it was very, very, very exciting. Both Judy and film director Kenneth have since reunited for his latest film titled Belfast, a semi-autobiographical film that chronicles the life of a Protestant working-class family. The Oscar-winning actress plays the grandmother of a young boy called Buddy, played by lead actor Jude Hill, which the film follows and the wholesome relationships that surround him. The film is based on a young Kenneth and his upbringing during the tumult in the Northern Ireland capital. Talking Pictures is available to stream on BBC iPlayer, 